what up welcome back to the channel i'm Odai J and we're locked in we're going to be looking at house of the dragon primarily the targaryens and looking at how messed up rhaenyra's family tree is and how everyone is connected it's a long process but trust me family members are family members but it was a different time and age and they were just trying to keep the lineage together now before we jump into this and break this down if you like recaps of house of the dragon breakdowns and little side quests that we're going to go on then hit your subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button and i'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers so i appreciate each and every one of you if you don't see this at 100 likes hit that like button now our queen to be renera targaryen she's linked to a lot of people brothers cousins father-in-law sister-in-law brother-in-law and it all traces back to Rhaenyra. So let's jump into it. This is the Targaryen family tree. This is Rhaenyra, Targaryen's family. The family tree explained from the position of Rhaenyra Targaryen in the Targaryen family. Damon Targaryen, he is Rhaenyra's brother-in-law from her first husband, her second husband, and her uncle. Now, her first husband was Lenore Valerian, and the reason Damon is the brother-in-law because he ended up marrying Lenora's sister, Lena. Then, after she got divorced from Lenore, she ended up marrying Damon Targaryen. And Damon is also the uncle because Viserys, her father, who we're about to talk about next, was his brother. Viserys Targaryen is Rhaenyra's father and brother-in-law. Now, the reason He's the brother-in-law because his brother Damon ended up marrying his daughter Rhaenyra. Now you can already see where this family tree is going and all of this is connected back to Rhaenyra. Allison Hightower, she is Rhaenyra's old friend, stepmother, and her second husband's sister-in-law. They grew up together, Allison and Rhaenyra, and then she ended up marrying Viserys. That made her the stepmother to Rhaenyra and her second husband's sister-in-law because once she married Viserys, that means Damon became her brother-in-law. Damon ended up marrying Rhaenyra, so it was all connected. Otto Hightower, he is Rhaenyra's step-grandfather and her father's best friend. He was the hand to Viserys while he was living for many, many decades. He also became the step-grandfather once Allison married Viserys, his very best friend. Corlys Valerian, he is Rhaenyra's father-in-law from her first husband, Lenore Valerian, and also he's the father-in-law to Daemon Targaryen, who married Lenore's sister, Lena Valerian. Rhaenys Targaryen, she is Rhaenyra's father's cousin and her mother-in-law from her first husband, Lenore Valerian. Now, she's the queen that never was. Viserys took over. This is her second cousin, Rhaenyra's second cousin, but it's her mother-in-law because when she married Lenore, it's all connected. I feel bad for Rhaenyra, but she really is the whole heartbeat of the Targaryen bloodline. Lena Valerian, she is Rhaenyra's sister-in-law and her second husband's first wife. She's the sister-in-law because of Lenore, who we're about to talk about, and then her husband's second wife, Damon Targaryen. Lenore Valerian, he is Rhaenyra's first husband and her second husband's brother-in-law from his first wife. Yeah, it keeps crossing over, but Lenore, Rhaenyra, married. That made Daemon Targaryen and Lena married. These are make them brother-in-law, sister-in-law across the board. Then Daemon and Rhaenyra married. It's just all over the place, but everyone has a hand on someone else especially in the Targaryen and Valerian bloodline, it all double crosses. Aegon II Targaryen, he is Rhaenyra's half-brother and his own sister. Helena Targaryen is also his wife. Now, Rhaenyra and Aegon, they're brother and sister because of their father Viserys. Once he married Alicent, they became half-brothers. And his own sister, Helena Targaryen, whose father is also Viserys, that's his wife. Then we have Helena Targaryen. She's Rhaenyra's half-sister because of Viserys. She's also her own brother Aegon II Targaryen. This is her husband. I'm telling you, the Targaryens, they're trying to strengthen up their family, but in reality, 
They're just a weird bunch of individuals. Amon Targaryen, he is Rhaenyra's half-brother because of his father Viserys, and he's also the younger brother of Aegon. Then we have Harwin Strong. He is Rhaenyra's lover and the father of her children, Jace, Luke, and Joffrey. Now, we know Lenore was supposed to be her first husband, but he was not the father of the kids, and all of the kids came out with the brown hair like a strong instead of the blonde hair, the white hair like a Targaryen. Shout out to Movie Manners. This is Sweet Home Dragonstone. If you look at the Targaryen bloodline, it's all over the place, but this is how they kept the strength within their family and they kept it all royalty. Now, you can pinpoint back to one person and it looks like Rhaenyra is where all of this started and began to branch out. Of course, you have Viserys and Reyna, but Rhaenyra is the one that all of it started at. But let me know what you think about this bloodline. If you want more videos like this, comment down below. I'm Mo IJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.